Hey guys, welcome to Edit Tutorials and in this video, we'll be looking at how to add title or text in Shortcut video editing app. So in case you guys didn't already know this or if you're new to Shortcut, uh, the thing is Shortcut came up with a new way of adding text. It's essentially a new method. Uh, this new method makes it way easier to add text. So let's jump into the video. So as you can see, I have two videos here. Uh, so let me just import the first video for now onto the timeline. So how do you add title? So the simplest method is you click on the video here, go to filters and click on this plus button, right? So from here, I actually have text rich. So this is the new option that I was talking about. So I have it in my favorites bin. In case it's not present here, you can always go to video and type text. So text simple is actually the old method. This used to be the old option, but now we have rich text. So you can click on this and it applies to this video. So when you click on rich text, as you can see, a box appears on the preview window. So this box will essentially help us write and edit any of the text we need. So to begin with, to start typing, all you have to do is click inside this box, anywhere inside the box and click whatever you want to, you know, um, regarding the subject or regarding whatever the video is about. So let me just write London I here. Right, this is London I. And let me also add in London. All right, so perfect. So this is how you add a basic text. Now let me start by introducing these options to you guys. Uh, let me start from the right. This is the collapse toolbar. So you can either toggle open up or close. So you can toggle between these two options to open or close the toolbar. Uh, these I'm pretty sure you'll already know. You would have already come across them in different softwares. You can see them in MS Word, MS PowerPoint and others. They just help you align the text. So to align, what you have to do is select the whole video. And then you can use align to right, align to left or align in the center because it creates this sort of, you know, balanced, it gives you this balanced feel. So yeah, great. Now, let's say I don't want white here because, you know, it's obviously merging with the video here, London. So I don't want white. Maybe, you know, I'll go for a darker color. So what I'll do is I'll select London I click on this white square here and select whatever color I want. Let's say I want green. I click on green and I press OK. So as you can see, this text London I has turned green. Now be careful when you're using this option because if you click on I, if this uh, cursor is on I, what happens is if you change the color in that scenario, what happens is only the I turns, only the word that your cursor is on, only that word changes color, while the rest of the you know sentence remains the same. So what you have to do is select and then change color, right? So it's back to uh, green. So in London, I'll probably choose a darker color, right? There you go. This is much more evident. It's popping out compared to white. So that is great. Now, so let's say I want to decrease the size of in London. What I can do is I can come here and decrease the size. Again, it, it, the same problem could happen here as well. If your cursor is only on London and you decrease the size, only the size of London changes. As you can see, London is 65. 
while n is in 68. So to avoid that, what you have to do is select the whole word, select the whole sentence uh, or whatever uh, you want to change the size for and decrease the size. Right? Let me go with 60 here. Yes, this works. And now coming to one of the most important options in this uh, method uh, or rather in this option is font. Now it used to be very difficult to change font in shortcut but now thankfully it's become a lot easier. So all you have to do is click on this uh, you know italic A and you can essentially choose from literally tens of fonts here. So I actually love Montezart. So let me click M. So there it is. There is Montezart. It's it's simple and it's elegant. So I love Montezart. So I've gone with it. But you can select from tons of fonts here. Now let's make this Montezart light so that you know we know what the main text is and what the subtitle is, or rather what the subtext is. I could either go for Montezart light, which is very thin, or Montezart thin, which is thinner. I probably go with Montezart medium. So there you go. Now, uh, these three options you'll already, I mean, I assume you already know what they are. It's underline, italic, and bold. Uh, I'm sure you would have used it somewhere else, probably in Word or other softwares, and it is not very different. It's the same thing. Now, the problem is this text has been applied to the whole video, right? And suppose you don't want this text for the whole video, right? Suppose you want a different text. What you can do is you can bring the cursor to wherever you want the text to end and click on this option, right? That is split. Or the shortcut for this option is S. So you can simply bring the cursor here and press S or you can click on this option. So this essentially divides the video into two parts. So this becomes the first video and this becomes the second video. So let's say you want to change the text in the second video. What you can do is click on the video, come here, it's already in filters and click on minus. So what happens is the text disappears. So if you don't want the text from this point onwards, just leave it as it is. Now, if you want to add a different text, what you can do is again go to plus. Uh, I have rich text in my favorites bin, so I can just click on it. So a whole new box appears here and I can type anything I want, right? Now, if all you want to do is just add text, this should suffice, right? You can uh, stop watching the video here. But let's say you want to add more depth and you want to animate your text. So how do you do that? Let me come to the first video again and uh, let me just show you with this example, right? So there are two ways in which you can animate the text. One is using the presets. So if you're using the preset, all you have to do is just click on this drop down menu and you know, just select any option you want. Suppose I selected scroll down. So what happens now is I go back to the beginning of the clip and if I press space, so the software has essentially, you know, animated this text for me. So I'm not happy with what the software has done and I want to give this, you know, I want to have more control uh, over uh, the animation. So what I can do then is come back to preset here and set it to default where, uh, you know, the text lands in its original position. And you can come here to position and background size section and click on this alarm clock symbol here that you can see. Just click on it. And here in the keyframe, in the timeline section that you used to see, now it has come to keyframe window, right? So we used to be here in timeline. Now it has come, down, come up to keyframes. So what you can do is you can go to the top left corner of the clip that is here. So you find these two dots uh, in a, on the either end of a video clip. 
on the top left and on the top right corner. So all you have to do is drag this dot rightwards, right? And you can see that by default, again, the software has created an animation for you. London Eye. So you can be, if you're okay with it, you can go ahead. But let's say you're not, right? You want the text to be seen uh, from the very beginning. So what you can do is you can change the position, right? You can change the initial position. All you have to do is come back to the first frame here of the clip and move the text using that dot. You know, you can just move the uh, text ever so slightly and you can come back to the position here. And if you're happy with this, well and good. And if you're not, you can always change this position as well. So let's say you want to move it more towards the middle, right? So again, you can play from first and this is what happened. And uh, yeah, this is all about, you know, adding text, uh, designing your text and animating it in shortcut video editor. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Uh, if you found value in this video, please do consider subscribing. And if you think this video can help someone, uh, share it with them and ask them to subscribe as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope I helped you today. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.